Let's explore how to make an Android-based consumer device using nothing but products sourced from a local deli. This is a reference design for a modern Qualcomm chipset. This is a phone running on such a modern chip. But how do we get from this to this? Let's find out. Welcome to Sigma Connectivity. I want to tell you about the Android operating system, referred to as AOSP, and what the stack looks like. A majority of all consumer devices, as well as lots of other really cool things, run on AOSP. This is a bit abstract, so I will use an analogy. Let's make an Android sandwich. At the bottom of the stack, we have the Linux kernel. This is the layer that everything rests upon and it rests directly on top of the hardware. Uh, let's bring the hardware in. On top of the Linux kernel we have the hardware abstraction layer, the HAL. Now these two together provides the core functionality and acts as an interface between the hardware and the higher layers of the stack. Here we have things like process and memory management, power man management, device drivers, security, and connectivity. On top of the HAL, we have our native libraries. They contain performance critical code that requires direct access to system resources, so they interact with the hardware components directly, thanks to the HAL layer. We also have the Android Runtime, ART. This is responsible for executing and managing all of the applications that run on the system. It's not really on top of the library, it's more side by side. These are the lower layers of our stack. We interact with them in languages like C, C++ and Rust, but those are all quite complex languages. Wouldn't it be nice if we could add another layer that makes things a little bit easier? Well, the framework layer provides a high set of APIs and services for our applications and overall functionality. And finally, we can add our applications on top. And it looks delicious, but... This is where it gets a little bit more complicated. You see, this part of the sandwich, let me just slice it up for you. Here we go. Ah. This part of the sandwich deals with the screen. This one deals with the Wi-Fi. This one with the haptic engine and so on. And the applications that you normally talk about when talking about Android, they're just a tiny tip of the iceberg. Small grains of salt or this flake of herb. This mm, is your application. And it's, it's also quite a big sandwich we're talking about here. This looks manageable, but the AOSP code base is over 12 million lines of code. So if you want to use another screen, then the one that comes with the reference design, or another haptic engine, another sensor. Our engineers modify all of these layers in these subsystems to make the product you want. This is what we do for you. Our sandwich experts, or engineers, have decades of experience with all of these different subsystems and layers of the AOSP stack. They help you go from this to this by planning, designing and building your Android solution as you need it. Of course, we do uh, testing and pre-certification as well. Mm. Since, since 2013, we have made over 20 advanced consumer products running on AOSP. Things like wearables, such as smartwatches, smart glasses, VR headsets, phones, of course, but also uh, communication hubs, uh, smart conferencing systems, interactive exercise equipment, and many, many, many more products. Now, we take our clients' confidentiality very seriously, so I'm not going to show you any products today. 
you will own all of the IP, but we have a long history of making state-of-the-art sandwiches. If you, or someone you know, needs help to make your product come true, grab a folder or follow the link below. Reach out, you'll find the contact info for all our software lines there. Let's make your favorite sandwich.